What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and as you see by the title, we're going to talk about why you are sorry, why you suck at flirting. Now, I think everyone does uh, sometime or another, they, you know, they just don't know how to flirt, right? Then over time after practice, it becomes natural. Um, a great example of this would be me. When I was really young, uh, I would say I was kind of like average at it. But my parents divorced, and I ended up winning uh, my fit my dad's military. I ended up living with my dad for a long time uh, until I grew up and did my own thing. And I seen him, or I witnessed him flirting with women all the time, right? Just not, maybe not even flirt. He was just a natural talker, right? Just a natural, smooth talker. You know, he, he talked to everyone in the line. He would talk to people at social gatherings. You know, he'd have people come over, you know, for a party or something. He, was, he just knew how to you know, talk and uh, just guide the room. He was really, 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 really natural with it. And I think over the years, I have, through trial and error, of course, I learned how to do the same. And the reason I'm making this video is because uh, I actually had a friend the other day who said, who's a guy, who said he was really bad at flirting. And I witnessed it. And he was just say, you know, and he just was kind of like stumbling over his words, didn't really know where to take it, uh, and things like that. And a lot of the things I've seen him, or the mistakes I saw from him, I see women make all the time. So in this video, I'm going to try to help you eliminate these things and to uh, kind of become a master flirt. And the first thing you need to know is that you, you don't put a man on a pedestal. I, when you flirt with somebody especially when a woman's flirting with a man, you, you subconsciously, now you might not be aware of it, but you create a hierarchy. You're up here because you're trying to uh, seek validation and you're down here. You're, automa you're automatically creating a power force, okay? They're up here because you're seeking validation from them somehow, right? You want, and when I say validation, you're seeking a, resp a, a positive response or you other otherwise you wouldn't be flirting with them. And I think because of that, a lot of people worry about what is, you know, the number two thing here is you worry about what other people think. You, you can't worry about that, okay? When, when you worry about what other people think, you start to stumble, you start to mess up, you start to seek their approval, and you go by how they react. Instead, you need to just go natural. You need to just be you. You need to do your own thing and not care what they think. You want to flirt with them because you want to, not so much to get a response from them, okay? And I think that's the biggest, biggest, absolute biggest problem that we have when we try to flirt with someone. I can sit here and I can flirt with you, and it can go well, right? It can go well, it can go great until uh, I until I start to get in my own head, and then you're screwed, okay? When you get in your own head, you're fucked. You 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 start stumbling over your words, you start wondering what to say, you try to figure out how to keep the conversation and stuff going, and then you go on to what I think is number the third problem, which is uh, you start following a script. A lot of people, you know, when they get in their own head, they're like, oh my God, what do I say? What should I do? Uh, I don't know what's going on here. He's not laughing. He doesn't seem interested. His body's turned away. All these kind of things. You need to get out of your own head and stop practicing a script, okay? You, I feel like people think when they're flirting, Maybe not now, like when you're watching this video, you don't think it. But when you start flirting, you're thinking like, oh my God, what do I say? What should I say? Once you start doing that, you ruin the whole the chemistry. And of course, I think that this would just, uh, this, guys pick up on this real easily. And this is why people start getting that, like in that nervous jig, you know, kind of like, here's the way I look at flirting, right? You you obviously have to get this off of you. Um, when you're flirting with someone and you don't know what to say, you start to get nervous. You start to kind of freak out and things like that. And I like to think of it as a as a like a hyper border collie, right? Like you know how border collies they're very hyper dogs, very active dogs. And if you don't walk the dog and run with the dog and play fetch with the dog and stuff like that. It gets really hyper intense and stuff like that. And then when you're at home, it has to break out. Like that, that energy has to go somewhere. And it's usually going to go with barking uncontrollably or it's going to go with uh, chewing on things. And I think a lot of people who are nervous with flirting kind of show those signs. I'm not saying you're barking or you're like whatever. But, you know, you start, you either do one or two things. You start rambling. And you start going on and on and on, hopefully to pick up on something or hopefully he says something or whatever, you know, along those lines. And the second thing is 
if you can't get it out and you start getting nervous, again, that energy has to go somewhere. So you start doing things, you know, you start like turning, you might just pull out and grab your phone, start looking at your phone. Like that, you have to put, you have to like concentrate that energy somewhere instead of projecting it in that conversation. Usually people would pull out their phone. Like you see it all the time when people are in like waiting rooms or like you're anywhere, right? You're sitting with someone on the bus or you're talking to someone in class and when you don't have anything to say, one of you automatically looks down at your phone. Your phone's like your security blanket, right? That you have to transfer that energy somewhere. And when you're not a good flirter, that's what usually uh, happens. Usually people transfer the energy into the phone or into like their movements. They start getting awkward, you know, uh, something, right? So uh, totally eliminate that. Get that shit out of there. And I think the obvious two reasons, which are the two final uh, things to uh, be a good flirter is to practice and to stop being shy, okay? When I say practice, I don't mean literally sit there and have a conversation with yourself all the time, like, you know, like bouncing back and forth, like you're role-playing two people. But you do need to sit there. Like, I usually, like I talk, I'm not even going to lie. I don't know why I'm going to say this on camera, but I talk to myself all the time, okay? I talk to myself all the time. Not, And I think that does help me with my flirtation a lot because I... I just kind of pick up now. I'm not again. I'm not saying have a na I have a conversation with yourself so much as in kind of like think and say things and see how they work in your head, right? I'm not saying you have to speak out loud like this, but you can kind of think, like you know, just you you want to have the natural flow. You want to have the improv. You want to have the quick wit. Okay. Um, a great example of this is when I remember one time I was at a uh, I was going in one of my classes and there was no place to sit really. And over the and in the corner, not kind of corner, like a, it doesn't matter. We'll say the middle. In the middle, there was a girl who was sitting there, and she pointed to sit right here. She, you know, nice of her, right? And I was kind of hesitant on it, right? Not like not the not that I didn't want to sit next to her. I was just kind of like, you know, oh, I, I was kind of took took it off by because no one points says, hey, sit here, right? Like, that's fucking weird. But I did it anyway. And she saw my hesitance, and she was like, uh, don't worry, I don't bite. And I said, oh, that sucks. I wish you would. And everyone around us. Like, look, this like, holy shit, I don't he just said that. And it, again, it was just that quick wit. I didn't care how she, you know, I, it was it was fun. It was playful. I didn't care what anyone thought. And everyone's like, she, he did not just say that. And, her, and she was like laughing, like, oh my God, I do not believe you said that. You know, it, it, who cares? Like, I didn't care. She was cute. I liked her. I didn't care what people thought around me. It's, it naturally came out. That's just how it is, okay? And you kind of get those kind of things from practice. You know how to keep a conversation going with practice. Again, you can talk to yourself. And you don't have to talk out loud like I am right now. But you can have conversations in your head about flirting or, uh, you know, trying to, like, be consciously aware, enlighten yourself on the mistakes you're making and how to eliminate them or trying to cut them back. Like a lot of people when you're making videos, like I, I, I catch me doing it all the time, right? I, I'm always smacking my mouth. Or I, or I always say, right, and I've done it a lot in this video already, or I would say, um, 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 uh, very often, I just did it, and when you do that, you know, you, you, or not when, I guess when you do that, but when you're flirting, it's, you know, the same thing occurs, like you're trying to eliminate these factors that make you, uh, less flirtable. And of course, like I said before, stop being shy. There's no reason to be shy. I think when you're shy, again, you're, you have that nervousness and you're, and you're trying to close off and you're trying to redirect that energy somewhere. And of course, when you flirt, you're not letting out your full potential. I feel like when you're flirting you're, you're, or when you're uh, nervous or shy, you're basically like in a blanket. Like no one sees you. You're kind of like talking and you're in this like, oh my God, you're like, you're like, you're hiding behind something, right? And it's just, it's not attractive. Guys can catch on to it very fast. It's very, uh, I don't know, like you, you don't, like a guy does not want to press forward or progress forward with that kind of body language. A shy, and again, I know you can't help being shy, but I see it all the time. And it just ruins flirting, man. It's like, come on, like, be yourself. And I think that's the problem a lot of people have. They feel like they have to be somebody else when they flirt when they don't. Be yourself. Be Who cares what other people think? I asked a woman if she would bite. I mean, come on. She literally said, I don't bite. And I said, oh, that sucks. I was hoping you would. Who cares? She looked at me. She laughed. You you would think, like, I don't believe you. Like, you're probably watching this. You're thinking, I don't believe he said that. If I said that in my school, if I said that to a guy, he'd flip. A guy would actually laugh if you said that. I'd I'd freaking laugh if a woman says something like that because you have co that shows confidence. But of course, when you're when you're shy, you can't express yourself. You can't really get off what's on your chest. 
So with that being said, guys, there's the five things that will make you a better flirt. I promise if you practice, you, uh, you're you not shy, you stop worrying what others think, you you don't follow a script especially, don't, don't follow a script, and you take guys off that pedestal, literally you take guys off the pedestal and you don't care what they think and you're on, and you're on their level, or they're on your level, sorry, they're on your level, and it just, I feel like things are just going to flow a lot more naturally. You're going to get a lot more out, and you're going to be a much better flirt. Again, just let it happen naturally. Don't try to be someone you're not. Don't try to say things that don't come naturally, that don't come up in the flow, and you will be such a good flirt. With that being said, I love you guys. Peace.